video has been sponsored by King Maps Five Guard and Just Scripts. Check their website in the description. Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In today's video, we are going to install an advanced bank system into our 5M server. So without any further ado, let's get to the installation process. So this is the script which are going to install into a 5M server. I'll put the link in the description below. You can see the preview and the user interface of the script over here as you can see. Now click on this GitHub link. Then click on code and download the script. After downloading it, we have to extract the file into our 5M resource folder. So I'll be extracting it over here. Just like this. Now open the file. Now we have to run the SQL. For that double click over here. Open the head SQL. Then select your server, then click on run. After that, open the config folder, then config.lua. You can configure framework system, your SQL system and your interaction system from here. And these are the credit system you can configure it from here. And these are the locations of the bank you can configure it from here. So I'll be changing my framework from Autodidact to NewQB as I'm using the NewQB Go framework. Just like this, now press Ctrl save. Before starting the server, make sure to delete the old QB banking system from here. Just like this. So yes guys, that's it for the installation part. Now let's start the server. So we are in a server now in front of the bank. So let's get inside the bank. Now to access the bank, we just need to use our target eye over here. Then click on open bank. As you can see, I've got a notification of you don't have an account. Please create one. So to create a bank account, we just need to go to the Pacific Bank which is over here. So let's go over there. Let's get inside the Pacific Bank. Now we have to create a bank account from here. For that we just need to get over here. After that press E to open the bank setting. After that click on get credit card. Now to create a bank account, we have to enter the 8 digit password over here. To see the password, we have to take our cursor over here as you can see. After entering the password, we just need to click on confirm. That's it. Now our bank account is open now. To change the password, we just need to again press E, then click on change password. So I'll be leaving it for now. Now let's get to the bank. So let's go over here. Now we have to use our target eye to interact with the bank, then click on open bank. As you can see the user interface of our bank system. To deposit the money, we just need to click over here. After that, we have to enter the amount. So I'll be entering $100, then click on deposit money. As you can see, the money is successfully deposited. Now to withdraw the money, we just need to click over here, then enter the amount. Then click on withdraw money. As you can see the changes in the graph. And all the transaction history you can see from here. You can easily check out other functions of this banking system. So let's check this credit system. So I'll be checking the car credit for that. Click over here. Then select your credit. So I'll be selecting this one. After that, click on confirm. So as you can see, I've got loan of $50,000 in my bank account. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5M development. Goodbye.